Hello guys, and today we have here another awesome deck profile. We have here not just one, but two elemental hero deck profiles, or mask heroes, whatever you like to call it. And these are going to be, I'm trying to create a viable build, something that works really well. And I think this is going to be a good budget friendly deck because I feel the big decks are going to be Ritual Beasts and Infernoids and Talonites. Those are probably going to be the big decks. But then again, I am making this before the ban list has been revealed, so some of those decks might get hit, such as Ritual Beasts. So something could happen, but then again, we might not even get a ban list. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get a ban list. So we just have to find out and wait. I mean, it's July 30th, and next tomorrow is July 1st. So it's either we get a ban list today or we don't get a ban list. So we just have to wait and find out. But this is the Element Hero deck, and pretty much what you're trying to do is with this build, there's two builds again. You want to get out Dark Run and Fire and Ice and just go hand with Fire and Ice and be like banish, 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 banish. And then your opponent can't play because they just can't deal with Dark Claw and Fire and Ice hand at the same time. And so, of course, we won the 3 Fire and 3 Ice hand. And then Blaze Man. Blaze Man's. Because eh, we don't run Polymerization in this deck. And if you use his effect to send Shadow Mist to search, you cannot special him except through a Fusion Summon. Which means you can go Blaze Man, dump Shadow Mist, search. Bubble Man special summon Bubble Man. That doesn't work. You can't because you can't special summon Bubble Man. Which is really stupid. Which is just really, really sad. But um, he is still really good. You just have to play around that. No, sometimes you have to search Bubble Man instead of searching Blaze Man. He's still really good. You can turn himself into a Dark, so then you can make Dark Claw with him. Or you can turn him into a Water, and then you make Acid with him. So, he's still really good. It's just... Yeah. Not as good as what he could have been. But then again, you could probably do some broken shenanigans with him. So then, besides that, um, the Shadow Mist, search other deck. If you spell summon him, search as a mass change card. If you, um, if he's, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a element to hero monster. No, just a hero monster. Yeah, just a hero monster. So there is shenanigans you can pull with him as well. And then summon monk, summon monk's awesome because you can use him to get your fire and ice hands, or you can use him to get shadow mist, who will then get you a mass chain. So there's utility here. And then the two bubble man, if you control no other cards in your hand, you can spouse summon him. If you have too many monsters, you won't be able to spouse summon him, so you want to have like one other monster, normal summon it, and then you can set all your spell trap cards. And then for other searches, three e call, three a hero live, and then three loaded. Hero Lives is just awesome in this deck because pretty much it's 4,000 and you get a Dark Claw. There's no question that says 4,000 is a Dark Claw. So it's really good. And you can discard for Summon Monk to do the same thing. So if you have them, that is pretty good. Uh, one Rejecky, three Rota again. Foolish, you can send Shadow Mess, so it's just another searcher. Uh, Mass Charge, one would be bad at two. One Book of Moon because Ritual Beast, if you can flip them face down, their steeds won't go, I believe. It won't go off, so if they have the one ritual beast, then you can just flip it face down. And it's still a spell card, so you can still discard it for some of the monk. Three mass change, and then one mass change second. We're running mass change second because you can use ice hand to make an acid with this card, so might as well run it. And Shadow Mist also gets his effect when used for mass change second if you discard him. And so then we have the draw of avarice to reset our final ice hands and any other cards we deem fit, and then. A whole bunch of Call of the Haunted, six Call of the Haunted, pretty much. Spell Summon Shadow Mist from the Graveyard. Pretty much, again, you're trying to dump Shadow Mist into the Graveyard with Blaze Man, and then Spell Summon them out if you don't open up with Hero Liz or Summon them up. So, Call of the Haunted is really good. Really good. And it's just a really nice, just, you can make, or you open up with Hero Liz and Call of the Haunted, just pretty good. Because then you go, you make your Dark Claw, you get your Search off, and then during your turn, you can Spell Summon Shadow Mist again, and then get off another Mass Chain. So, it's just really, really good. And that is it for the main deck. Um, as far as stuff in the side, I really suggest Mind Crush. Maxi wouldn't be bad either, having Maxi. Just do know, Bubble Man can just, again, will die if you have too many monsters in your hand. And so Maxi won't help that. Um, and you may be in a situation where you have to discard a Maxi just so you can special on Bubble Man. So just be careful of that. And Maxi doesn't work well with Fire and Ice Hand. But you just have to make your choice because Ritual Beast they just cannot play under Maxi. They can't do the Conahawk loop as bad as they want to. Um, because they the Conahawk loop won't let them win. It's not gonna let them 
just get out a whole bunch of monsters and then just attack the game even if they decontact they're just going to be really weak monsters even if they use Apuleo a couple of times more than likely they're not just going to be able to use go for game just right away so Maxi can will probably they'll probably won't search as hard so they might get one ambush or maybe yeah just getting an ambush and a steeds would be way too many special and you draw way too many cards off of it so they get either an ambush or a steeds and then sit on the dolphin navy so it's just maxi would be a really good card to have in the side deck and then for the extra deck we're on a whole bunch of mastios anki if he, he can attack directly but he does half damage or he, if he destroys a monster by battle you can add a change quick play spell card so if you can make him not bad because then you can do a whole bunch of searching for your other masters acid to blow up your opponent's back row he's a healthy feather duster and if he goes through all of your opponent's monsters he's just banned attack Dark Claw is a one-sided macrocosmos. Any card sent to your opponent's graveyard is banished, and if your opponent searches or adds a card from their deck to your hand, you can banish one random card from their hand. Then a whole bunch of XZ monsters, including Dark Rebellion, Blade Armor, 101, uh, Excalibur, Castell, Exciton, Lavovo Chain, Abyss Dweller, and Cowboy. And so that is pretty much it for this build. This build. And it's this build I find to be probably the better build of the two because Final Night Sense is just a little bit more viable. The other build, this is a stun build and stun's probably going to be better this format. The other one's a control build. I'm just going to pop it up so you guys can see it. Let's see if I can find it. Ha! Sorry. There we go. And then anyways, uh, yeah, this deck, I've been playing with this deck and it's just crazy. Pretty much. We're trying to make Dark Law and then Jin our opponents. That's what we're doing. Because some decks just can't play with a Dark Law and a Jin on board. And but back row is a problem, that's why we have the two Dineko Sekas. And so yeah, it's really crazy. Armageddon Knight, better than Blaze Man, because you can search, uh, you can send Saddle Mist, add Bubble Man, spell some Bubble Man. I like Blaze Man. So Armageddon Knight's really good. You can also send Jin. So he is a thing. But he can't be searched by Shadow Mist, so it gets me. But then again, if you just suck it up and say, you know what, I'm not going to have a whole bunch of elements of heroes. I don't care if I don't get off the search. And it's good. I did put in the alias just so that way uh, there would be some more targets. But yeah, um, this deck isn't bad at all. Like Telenites, if you get off both Dark Law first turn and um, a Jin, which isn't that hard. You just need an Armageddon Knight, Colossalus, and a Hero Liz, three cards want to be the hardest thing in the world to open up with um you could you could on uh, Jin and dark claw and tell the knights they can't play on uh, unless they get fiendish chain but even then fiendish chain wouldn't do much it just negate the dark law effect and then they still can't special summon so it'd be really hard for tell the knights to really play and alpha is dead with dark law on the field because alpha says send to graveyard dark law says that can't happen so some really really awesome stuff that this deck can do but it's just a little bit harder i feel it's not as good because it's like one play only and if it fails you're dead well with the final ice hand build the stun build i feel it can take more and as you can see i do have the final ice hand here they should be on the side if you guys do like this build and think it's really good but the thing that i'm trying to fight with is what is more important element of heroes or a knee cause in this deck and so I'm trying to find the balance if this should be more like a cloth build where it should be more a little bit more and Nikos I want to keep it more element to hero based because well this is elemental hero week I'm trying to give you guys element to hero deck profiles not a necros deck profile and for all we know Jin could be banned I'd really hope it doesn't but then again if people are able to tag in Jin like this I would understand it so this is still a really interesting build um, we put mass charge up to two just so that way we can get to mass change or oh, cycle mass change. Put a loan here because we're running a whole bunch of dark monsters. This is uh, four, seven, nine dark monsters. So it wouldn't be bad in the deck. Um, we're not running e calls, we're just running the road and then the three real lives. So yeah, these both of these decks are very viable. They're both really good. I just like the final ice hand a little bit better. I want to see this deck be really good. I really want to see this deck be good because I think a Jinning and Dark Claw just wrecks people. Like they just can't play. Unless you're playing those NGs, you can't play against this deck. Maybe Cliff Hearts because Cliff Hearts can just normal and then trade you the monster if they can do that if you let them. And then they have a whole bunch of cards like lose a turn and stuff to stall. Um, so 
very interesting very interesting matchups that this these decks can have tell me what you guys think which deck do you think is more viable i got this deck because some guy at my locals decided to throw in uh do pretty much this he ran one colossus one cycle and a gen and then armageddon knight and i think he even ran rota i'm not even sure um and he was running ritual beasts i don't know if he even got it off the tournament but hey it's uh not bad i mean you guys just have to see this deck because like I did, the, there will be replays with this deck of course, there will be replays with both decks, you just, you just have to stay tuned, and yeah, back row though, back row is going to be really annoying, that's why I threw in the Denko Sekas, but I'm feeling this might be a little bit too many monsters, like I just went crazy at one point after losing one too many duels against Telenites and Clefords, because they have way too many back row, way too much back row. And so I was like, Maxi, Denko, Saka, shut down the back row, shut down the special summoner. No, I can't use Bowman. Oh, but you guys just have to figure out how this deck works. Again, you might need to play more of a Necros build. Or maybe no Bubble Man, no Alias, just the Shadow Miss and the Hero Lives. And maybe, maybe one Bubble Man. Um, and then just run a whole bunch of Necros monsters in the deck. And see how that works. So... Again, just tell me what you guys think of this deck. Tell me what you guys think of both of these decks. Um, do you think they're viable? I think this is going to be a really budget-friendly deck. Um, <clears throat> the only thing that could probably get hit with either of these decks would really only be this deck with Jan and uh, Colossalus. And if Colossalus goes to 201, it wouldn't be the worst thing. But then again, we're probably not going to get a ban list. It doesn't have an end date on the ban list site. It... Mm, I'm just tired. Nationals is over. Burning Abyss won. Burning Abyss needs to get hit. Which I find funny. I find it funny. It's like Prago over again, guys. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.